Okay, so this one is another capacitor question from winter 22. And it's a pretty standard capacitor circuit, nothing here. And in fact, this question is very helpful. Wow, we draw the exponential graph for us. Hence, that's really helpful. Although you should know how the shape of the graph looks like. Okay. It says here the switch is closed at t equal to zero, capacitor will discharge. Okay. And it's initially the capacitor is charged. I can tell that because, you know, all this is maximum. Explain the shape of the line representing the variation of B with T. So I guess this V is the potential difference across the resistor. Okay. So I guess it's important to mention that when we close this switch, because these two pillars are parallel to each other, the potential difference of the capacitor and the potential difference of the resistance will be the same. So if this BC graph is like this, it also means that the potential difference across the resistor is also exponentially equal. Okay. So I'll say here that potential difference across the Sister B is equal to the potential difference across the cap. C. What's the second point that you can see? We need to talk about what changes, what happens. If you think about Q is equal to CV, for the capacitor C is fixed, right? Same capacitor. So Q is actually proportional to C. So for the circumference charge stored in a capacitor is proportional. Proportional to potential difference across capacitor as charge decreases exponentially. I mean, the, sh the shape here, I just want to talk a little bit about what this means. When you see the word exponentially in sciences, right, it means that either the de exponential decrease like this, expo this is for those who don't know that star, exponential decrease, a bit like, oh, your energy over time, exponential decrease can be charged, can be anything. Right now, I'm talking about charge. Okay. And in case in the future, you are charging the capacitor it's like this, this is an exponential increase. Okay. So what I'm trying to say here is charge stored in the capacitor is proportional to potential difference across the capacitor. Q proportional to so as charge decreases exponentially, the potential difference decreases exponentially. In other words, I'm saying that it should have the same shape. Okay. So then finally, you can say the rate of change of the potential difference Increases as the potential difference decreases. This is describing what it means to decrease exponentially, or it describes exponential decrease. Right. 
So the three points here would be one, we'll say that the potential difference across the resistor is equal to the potential difference across the capacitor. That's the easiest one and the most logical one. The second one, you mentioned that the charge stored is proportional to the potential difference. Okay, this is correct. And finally, you talk about the exponential decrease. So as charge decrease, PD decrease exponentially. Okay. And then the rate of change of potential difference will decrease as the potential difference decreases. So if you don't want to write the top line, it's fine. If you don't want to use the word exponential, this is a bit like, tell me you are talking about exponential decrease without telling me you are talking about exponential decrease. Okay, low. Then, don't write this. Mention this. Okay. You can't fault me because... Uh, I did a lot of that. So instead of saying rate of PD decreases as PD decreases, I rather just use one term exponential. Okay, anyway, let's say this explanation. We want to explain why the graph looks like this. All right, next. Use the graph to show that the time constant is 5.5 seconds. Okay, so to find out what the time constant is, I need to know what to do. I know that time constant is equal to RC, but I don't know R and I don't know C. However, I know the exponential equation. Maybe I'll use Q. Q is equal to Q naught E negative T over RC. Teacher, why you use Q? Uh? Eh, because the question gave me Q. Uh. I want to use this one. Yeah, and paste the graph. So I need to show that the time constant is 5.5. How is that for us? Well, yes. I know that time constant is equal to RC. So I'm going to substitute RC into T. So let T be equal to RC. And then I'm going to find Q. Because if I can find Q, let's say this is Q that I want, then I can dot, 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 and this will be RC. Okay, so I guess I need to find Q. Q is equal to Q naught T negative RC over RC. So I substitute T as RC straight away. Because they can also cancel out, oh, which is very nice. Okay, Q naught is here, and this one looks like 0 0.9. Yep, 0 0.9 e to the power of negative 1. Teacher, can this press calculator? Okay, 0 0.9 times e to the power of negative e uh, to the power of negative 1. 0 0.33. I gotta find 0 0.33. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, this is 0 0.35. So 0 0.33 is somewhere in the middle, right? Paper 4 can read to the middle. Paper 5, try not to, but paper 4 can. 0 0.33. So 0 0.33, okay, like this one, right? 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. 0 0.33 is half a box here. I mean, you can cheat in the comma a bit because 0 0.33, the dot, dot, dot here, you know your answer is supposed to be 5.5. So show on the graph. Lah. Show this on the graph. Okay? So you can, if you want to, you can write the final sentence graph of our figure. 6.2. When Q is equal to 0 0.33 minute per long, T is equal to 5.5 seconds. Okay? So what we are looking for is, number one, you will substitute, you will substitute RC into T. 
and 0 0.9 here. If substitution is one mark, okay, you arrive at the charge for 0 0.50 mini coulomb. MC. This one is another blue one. Okay, so this is M1. Because without this 0 0.50, it's completely cool. Okay, so having the graph reading, show the read from the graph whether this one is A1 already. So something like this one, you just mentioned from the group. When Q is this, T is 5.5 like this. You already know it's 5.5? Try to adjust a bit, uh, but no, it will give you nice values for the data. Don't worry about it. In fact, all data given is all nice values. Okay, the part C. Use figure 6.2 and 6.3 and the information in the in to determine the capacitance in my cover. Okay, well, what the time constant is us? We know this is 5. We know, do we know the resistance? Hmm. Do we know the resistance? What about the capacitor? Let's say you want to do this. Do we know the resistance? Don't know more. In fact, normally in the exam, right, you stop like that. You don't know the resistance. Oh, ah, they want us to find resistance, meaning this working supposed to be here. So what are the other ways to find capacitors? Don't forget your good over Q equal to C. So your initial will be 0 0.90 mini coulomb. We're looking for capacitance. And at full charge, what is the potential here? 7.5 volt. Go back to the graph. At full charge, 7.5 volt. So and this one, when T is equal to 0, this one is 0 0.9 mini coulomb. And the voltage is 0, 0.5. Let's do that. 0.9, So you can find C. 0.9 milli divided by 0 0.5. 1.2. I'm simple on that. But well, I want this to be micro, right? So 1.2. I have set to the power negative six, but in order to not change my numbers, I should write 10 to the power of two times 10 to the power of negative six. Okay, so negative four becomes two and negative six. Don't convert wrong. 1.2 times 10 to the power of two by four. Only if you need it. If you don't need it, that's fine. Can I write one kind of thing? Sure. Okay, finally, we are looking for R. So we have R here, and we have 1.2 times 10 to the power of 2. So we can find R. It's not 10 to the power of 2, right? Because of the micro times 10 to the power of negative 6. Let's go. You know, the R very small, kind of sus. R should be quite big, right? Like kilo. Anyway, 5.5 divided by 1.2. Then the power of 2 minus 6. I have negative 4 now. Ta da! So I guess in kilo, this will be 45.8 or 46 kilo. 45833. 2SF, 46 kilo. So this calculation one, the marks are fairly straightforward as you can find Q, the right equation, get the answer, C1, A1, you know, write the equation, get the answer, C1, A1, all oh, this is okay. So I think the capacitor questions later on are fairly doable, but uh, they are a bit more true to the spirit of CIE, which is to focus on concept and a uh, more straightforward calculation rather than the previous one in summer 22 where they focus on learning how to actually use the equation super hardcore way. So just a reminder for you that time constant is actually the time taken for this thing 0 0.9 to drop a certain value. So in order to find time constant, if you have a graph, what you can easily do is substitute RC into the equation. So right.
that down as a final point for today. I'll say that if graph is given, either Q against T, B against T, or current against T, then you can sub T is equal to RC, time constant, into the exponential equation x is x dot e negative t over rc because then this t become one and you can find the value and extrapolate no? find the value 0 0.33 and extrapolate downwards to find your time constant okay you can watch the actual video i think i've done an example like this but that's it for this question, winter 22.